All right, all right, all right, party people, we are back. We are back, and um, once again, we are discussing TK Tankers. TNK is the uh, <clears throat> is a ticket symbol. Um, yeah. Okay. So once again, man, just a recap, right? Uh, I got in this stock, at, what about two weeks ago on the fourth at the price of 1075. So I got in on this day right here. Um, yeah. And once again, the reason I got in on this day was because I was saying that it was trading in this box pretty much from around close to $10 to close to $13, Well, uh, I guess to be exact. Well, not to be exact, but as I plotted it, this was uh, around $9.85, no, $9.91, I'm sorry, and this was $12.84. And pretty much I've been it been I've been seeing the trend that it was been trading in this box. And so I waited until the trend started to go down, started trend downwards. <clears throat> and then I waited for it to go sideways a couple of days. So if you look here. This is when the stock started going down, and it didn't all. It did not go all the way down um, to my to to this uh, support support line, but it went down fair. Uh, you know, what I'm saying close enough. Then it started going sideways, and so once it went sideways, I waited for it to start trending upwards, and I jumped in, and so now. On last, I, I think, yeah, I think this, I guess it was the last time we checked in on this stock on the 12th. As you can see right here, it broke through the resistance, uh, which was my first sell, ta sell target. And now it was trending upwards, hoping to get to my second, um, my second sell target, which was at 1584. Now, uh, like I said, this was the 12th. Um, then, like, yeah, that was a Friday. So, yesterday was the 16th, and today is uh, Wednesday the 17th. And you see from that Friday after market pushed this thing up crazy. Um, it opened at 14.11 after closing at 13.16. So, it jumped up about a, almost a dollar um, um, on the aftermarkets. And like I said, I was uh fairly anticipating, you know what I'm saying, hoping that it was gonna make this fifteen eighty four mark. Uh it, it it broke through resistance here and here, but just to turn back into the box. Um, but you know, what's what's hopeful. Um like I said, today it's uh it kind of is going sideways down twenty cent twenty nine cent today. Uh uh, two percent, as you can see in the top left corner. Um, it opened up today at fourteen twenty, and now it's at thirteen ninety eight. So you know, we're gonna just watch it. Uh, RSI right here is at a seventy four. Um, so you know, I would not be surprised if it did pull back a little bit and fall back into the box. Um, but like I said, this is this is the pattern. It played out pretty much how 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 I wanted it to play out. Um, like I said, I was hoping that it would make get, uh, get to that fifteen eighty four. It still can, you know. Um, this right here is this uh, five day moving average. It crossed the twenty day, and this and this right here, this green, this the twenty day moving average is this blue line, and this green. Moving average to the 200 day, and so it crossed over both of those lines, which is a real bullish sign. When you, um, when you hear people speaking about bullish signs, that's just real signs that the 
<clears throat> that the stock and the trend is 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 going upwards, and which it is. And so, like like I said, it's a very bullish sign. Um, now, like I said, does that mean it's gonna keep going up? Who knows? Um, we can't really predict what the stock is gonna do. Just like I said, gotta sit back and watch. But so this is where we're at with it, man. But I just wanted to get y'all heads up. I don't know if if y'all was if any of y'all had got in this stock or uh, was kind of looking at the stock as uh, along with me as I traded. But like I said, if you were just looking at it as as I traded, this is where we at with it. You know what I'm saying? Um, so we're just gonna watch. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if it if it starts going sideways or it starts going down, we're just gonna go ahead and sell out completely. Um, so just to backtrack on this on Friday, this twelfth, you know what I'm saying? Which was my first sale target. I sold some of my uh my. Uh, my shares. I took profit on this. You know what I'm saying? Just to lock in. Well, I sold some just to lock in some type of profit. So now, regardless what this stock does, you know what I'm saying? I'm already in the up on, on this stock. And that's why you make multiple sell targets. Uh, usually the the resistance doubles as your first sell, sell target. And then you like like this with this 1584 uh, target. That's like I said, my second target. And that doubles as my second target. So um, like I said, if it hits it, great. If it doesn't, I ain't tripping too much. What, like I said, all I'm going to do is I'm going to wait to hopefully see some sideways action. So like a lot of times stocks don't just go up and down and go sideways. Like if you look here, like I said, it dropped, went sideways, went up on this one, sideways, went up, sideways, went down. I don't know if you can see these pretty clear. Um, hold on, let me kind of try to draw something real quick. Uh oh, oh man, bear with me. Sideways. That's a sideways. You know, another. These are all sideways patterns going sideways, sideways, sideways. And so, um, this is what we're looking for right here. Um, typically, a stop before it just drops. Most times a stock will go sideways before it changes direction. Um, so that's what we kind of are looking for here. If it goes sideways a couple of days, maybe like on the second or third day that, well, this would be the second day on the third day, maybe even the fourth day, we just really just watch it. That's all you can do right now. Anyways, just watch it. And then depending on what it does, if it starts to drop, I go ahead and get up out of there. Um, if it, turns and keeps going up and then we just keep on riding and see how far it can go so all right like I, I didn't want to take too much time uh, i really didn't want this thing to get over five minutes but uh like i said i just wanted to uh welcome y'all back in and um yeah man we uh we're gonna uh, see what this stock does man like i said it was a pretty to me it seemed like a pretty easy trade you know what i'm saying once like i said once you get to seeing this stuff and recognizing these patterns this stuff is fairly easy to see, um, but it does take some due diligence, you know what I'm saying, and to find these stocks and chart it and know what you're doing. So, like I said, I don't want to hold y'all. I'm out. <clears throat>